Hello, my name is Michael Piero, and I'm going to be showing how to do an external uh, flow CFD of a nozzle, specifically for the, uh, the plume of the nozzle to decide whether it's un, un, uh, overexpanded, ideally expanded, or underexpanded. Um, so we're going to be doing this using the 3D nozzle that we created in the last video um, in SolidWorks. So We'll get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a sketch on the exit of the nozzle. And we'll make that normal to us. And we will choose the center rectangle and place it at the origin. Uh, uh, tap center rectangle from the origin. And we will just place these dimensions on it. We just need to make it big enough to see the actual exhaust plume. Um, and now we will extrude that about, let's go seven meters. And there we go. So now we will have our nozzle with this giant box. Uh, the reason we'll, you will see when we put this into ANSYS why we need to do this. So we will go ahead and save this as 3D cone nozzle external flow. Now we will open Workbench and drag the Fluent system out. And we can import the geometry that we just made and open it in mesh. And now our model is loaded in mesh. Um, we're going to insert the automatic mesh sizing and click generate. Again, this mesh is very coarse. Um, this is just a tutorial for this video and we're making it simple. So now we can define our name selections and we will choose the inlet of the nozzle and the outlet will be the, out, the uh, other side of this box. We will call it out. And now every other face that we have not selected will be considered the wall. So we will highlight all of these faces. Sometimes the program will freeze and you have to click off of it. Okay. I'll do that one more time. I must have messed that up. And one more face. There we go. So now we have selected all of the walls. We'll call them wall. Okay. Is that complete? We'll go back to workbench and click update and then open fluent. And just as we have in every other video for this project, we're going to be inputting the same, uh, the same setup. So we will turn the energy equation on 
change the flow to inviscid and change our material to the rocket fluid, which is an ideal gas with a specific heat ratio or constant of 2494 and a molecular weight of 20. And now we will change our pressure to the pressure inlet, which was 9.8 megapascals. And total temperature of 3,710 Kelvin. We'll click apply. And we will start off by using uh, sea level pressure, which is 101 um, pascals, 101,000 pascals. Apply. Um, lastly, we will change the residuals to be more accurate. And we'll choose a standard initialization, compute from the inlet, and click initialize. Now that it's done initialize, initializing, we will run the calculation for 200 durations and click calculate. And I will be back once the calculation is finished. And now our calculation is complete. So the final step we need to do is go to this results tab and we're going to create a plane. And this plane will be on the XY plane. And we'll click create. And now when we go to contours and we do the velocity contour and select the plane we just created, um, it will display our rocket plume. And as you can see, it mostly looks ideally expanded at sea level. It's kind of interesting. Um, but when we look at a bell nozzle, you will see that at sea level, it is actually under expanded, or excuse me, over expanded. Um, so thank you.